if you want to work safely on your engine, the best alternative is to set it up on an engine support, on an engine uh, mount. This video will show you how to do this really simple procedure. Start by removing the clutch pressure plate. Use your foot to hold it because it will spin around. And then remove all the bolts around the pressure plate. Remove the clutch disc. Then we have to remove the bolts from the flywheel. As you can see, I hold the flywheel so that it won't spin and then I remove all the bolts. Mark the position of the flywheel relative to the crankshaft by painting one of the holes for the bolts and the interior of the crankshaft. As you can see, I have painted one of, from one of the holes up to the crankshaft to know exactly where it is. This is so we can put the flywheel back exactly where it was because sometimes putting the uh, flywheel in the wrong position can hurt the balancing of the engine. When in doubt, put it back exactly like it was. Now we move on to securing the uh, mobile part, adjustable part uh, of the engine mount. As you can see that there are those four uh, clamps that you can uh, connect to the engine, you must connect to the engine via, via the holes that usually secure the gearbox to it. These are long bolts that I have bought specifically for this, these are steel hardened bolts and will hold the engine securely. You may have to use uh, some uh, uh, washers to make space for the, for the bolt to go in correctly. Then it is just a matter of tightening everything first by hand uh, just uh, everything before final, the final tightening and when you are satisfied with the result tighten up all the bolts to make sure it will be secure to the engine mount. We are now setting the engine uh, on the uh, engine stand so that we can work on it. Now slide the mobile part into the engine mount. As you can see that uh, shaft, that black shaft has to go into the red, the hole in the red part. Clearly I'm doing this wrong, the engine was too tilted, but the point was just to illustrate. Insert the security pin and then insert the rotator shaft. This will be the part you will use to rotate the engine around when you are working, like working on the sump or working on the top of the engine. You will remove the pin and then twist this around. This part will also prevent the black part from sliding out of the black from the red uh, assembly, which will be very bad, of course. 